We're about ready to start with event number 19. This is the Women's Collegiate Novice A. Once again, early in college or first time rowers. And there at the line, let's look at our lane assignments. Oregon State in one, USC is in two, Kansas State in three, Miami is in four, Cal Irvine in five, Cal Santa Barbara is in six, and Cal State Sonoma is in seven. Getting ready for the Women's Collegiate Novice A. They're at the stake boats now. We'd like to mention a couple of things. Our race results are a little bit north of the large tent that is on the knoll. So if you want to find out what's happened up to this point. And secondarily, for those age-appropriate folks, our beer garden is open. And that is almost adjacent across from the giant screen television that we have in the viewers and alumni area. Also for those uh, competitors and maybe even not competitors who have come from states where they haven't seen the sun in a few months or if they have, it looks like an anemic fried egg. Just be careful out here. This sun is stronger than you think. So slip, slop, slap. Slip on a shirt, slop on the sunscreen and slap on a hat. Ready to go. Bring it back, bring it back. 
Lane one out about two inches. And three in. Lane three, come back about two inches. She's all over the place. Okay, lane okay. two, I need you to come out away from you three inches. As you can uh, probably see, the uh, wind has now picked up from the southwest, which is causing a, a few additional problems down at the start, especially for the aligner, getting the boats exactly in a line. We're likely to hear a countdown start again. Good. Miami. Irvine. Santa Barbara. Sonoma State. Alright, we're at the start. The women's novice category A. As Charles mentioned, that yes, the wind has okay, blocked around, it's not coming out of the west, southwest. Still only about three or four, okay, maybe even five. But it is playing a little more havoc with uh, the start and keeping point. We did have a breakage issue out in that was fixed apparently on lane seven. But it's under control now. Go, go. Starters break the flag, and we have a start. The women's novice A. And your early leader jumping off the start out in front is lane two, the University of Southern California, followed by Oregon State. And then it's we look at to uh, Kansas State, Miami. And outside to Santa Barbara and Sonoma. All boats have cleared the 100 meter breakage. It is an official race. Doing very well outside in lane six is the University of California Santa Barbara. A bit of a surprise as they are dead even with the University of Southern California. Both those crews enjoy a one seat advantage over Oregon State who is one seat up on Kansas State. Kansas State is four seats up on Miami. Sonoma State is right there with uh, lane five, University of California, Irvine. Oregon State, which has settled down into the race pace. Oregon State at 32 strokes a minute has now rode through USC by two seats. USC and UC Santa Barbara are even for the second place, followed by Kansas State, UC Irvine. At the 500 meter mark, it is your early leader, Oregon State University, by two seats over University of Southern California and UC Santa Barbara, which are even. They are four seats over UC, excuse me, Kansas State University. All those boats are over open water ahead of UC Irvine, Santa Barbara, and Sonoma. That is your call from the 500. Quickly with our lane assignments for the Women's Collegiate Novice A, Oregon State in lane one, our current leader. University of Southern California is in lane two, Kansas State in lane three. Miami is coming down on lane four. Cal Irvine in lane five. University of California Santa Barbara in six. And uh, Sonoma State is in lane number seven. With the explosion in women's collegiate rowing, uh, that's seen a concomitant uh, explosion in women's junior programs around the country uh, with scholarships on offer to women's uh, rowing programs at the collegiate level. And uh, with that, we see uh, a much greater proportion of the uh, novices in this race being freshman novices, that is experienced rowers coming out of junior programs. Um, that's especially the case for programs like Oregon State, and Southern California, Kansas State, uh, to a lesser extent with programs like Irvine, Santa Barbara and uh, Cal State Sonoma. Uh, in this race um, we should see a very strong performance from Oregon State. The University of Southern California until a few years ago uh, never seemed to pay much attention to their JV or their novice boats, uh, didn't perform as well as their first day, but uh, with a coaching change two or three years ago, we're now starting to see much more competitive 
uh, JV and in this case novice boats out of the University of Southern California. And in lane four, the University of Miami, they brought a strong squad here. Uh, first eight, JV and novices. Uh, Robbie Tenenbaum, a uh, renowned recruiter, and we will see big things from this program in the future. Along the shoreline, Oregon State University is on the lead. They're being shadowed by USC in lane number two. The Trojans got off to an excellent start, but Oregon State responded back quickly. Out in lane number three, it's Kansas State University. Then we may need to look all the way outside to lane number six, University of California, Santa Barbara. Then back inside of them to Cal Irvine. And the two trailing boats would be Miami and Sonoma State. Miami in the middle of the back, Sonoma State all the way out to the far outside. So it looks like Oregon State have uh, opened up a commanding lead. There are going to be two boats going through to the grand final, positions one and two. Uh, the next two boats, positions three and four, will go through to a petite final, and then the rest of the boats will go to a third level final. So there's going to be several races for positions going on here. Oregon State University, as they approach 1700, check that 1500 meters. On the lead, they're right along the shoreline here. On their outside shoulder, USC, and then Kansas State. All the way to the outside to Cal Santa Barbara. Then University of California, Irvine. On the shore side of them is Miami. And on the far outside, is Sonoma State. This is the Women's Collegiate Navaze. It'll be 2-2-2 two, two, and two, or 2-2-3 two, two, and three, really. Two going to the grand final, two to the petite, and the remainder going to the third final. Oregon State University certainly in a commanding lead at this time. USC is currently in second spot, but they are being shadowed rather consistently by Kansas State on their outside shoulder. Then all the way outside to the California campus, Santa Barbara. We have open water back to the UC Irvine campus. Then Miami. And the far outside, Sonoma State. This is Oregon State University. With the commanding lead moving along smoothly. Doubt very seriously if they'll ratchet it up, they might just do it for drill to make sure they're in shape for the bigger run later. University of Southern California currently holding off the challenge on their outside shoulder by Kansas State. On the far outside, that is University of California, Santa Barbara. The Gauchos moving along with open water back to Cal Irvine, Miami, and Sonoma State. Looking at our leader, this is Oregon State University. And they are the apparent, if not official, winner of this race. University of Southern California. Settling into that second spot, Kansas State put a mild challenge on, right about 300 meters to go. But were unable to overtake the Trojans. Then on the far outside, this is Cal Santa Barbara. Then we come back inside to the University of California, Irvine, Miami, and the trailing crew, crew is Sonoma State with a game row, but not quite up to the challenge. And checking on event number 20 coming up, it is the Women's Collegiate Novice B, again 2-2 two, two, and the remainder. It will be in lane one, University of Washington in lane two, Minnesota. In lane three, Oklahoma, Cal Davis is in lane four, University of California, San Diego in five, Santa Clara in six, and Colorado rowing in lane number seven.